News H Joe Jardina joins us now live from the newsroom. Joe, isn't Ponte a witness in this federal investigation? Ponte is a federal witness in the investigation of the court system, and the firing raises a lot of questions as to why the judges took this action in the midst of an investigation prompted by information from Ponte. And this afternoon, Ponte discussed his firing. It was one month ago when the judges of the civil district court system suspended Ponte for the way he handled an internal investigation of possible wrongdoing of the court. Ponte says he was not surprised that the judges finally gave him the axe. I'm a federal witness uh, involved in this ongoing investigation of alleged illegal activity by some uh, state elected officials. And this morning I reported my firing to the United States Attorney's Office and to the FBI. News 8 has learned investigators are looking into the possibility some civil district court judges could be guilty of intimidating a federal witness by firing Ponte. We've also learned investigators are looking into an incident leading up to Ponte's suspension. It is alleged Ponte was suspended to prevent him from handing over documents to the federal government. I was under subpoena uh, to produce rec records and to provide testimony as a federal witness before the federal grand jury uh, prior uh, to completing um, the collection of the records uh, for submission to the grand jury, I was suspended from my uh, position. U.S. Attorney John Votes tells News 8 tonight he cannot comment on the latest developments concerning Ponte. And just a few minutes ago, we checked with Ponte, and so far he's not been officially told that he's been fired, but unofficially he has. And the chief judge of the Civil District Court System tells us tonight, he's Judge Robert Katz, he says he cannot confirm nor deny that Ponte has been fired. And no reason given for the no, action. Well, we, we understand the reason unofficially was because he released this information to the federal government. Thank you, Joe. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, two children have become murder victims in two separate cases today. 17-year-old Mark Sturdivant of New Orleans has been accused of killing his two-year-old cousin, Johnny Sturdivant. The toddler was reportedly sexually abused, then beaten to death last night at the St. Thomas Housing Project. The 17-year-old is behind bars, facing first-degree murder charges. In Alexandria, a mother is accused of killing her four-year-old daughter. Cabrini Harris told police at first that her child was kidnapped. Today, police found the youngster's body, however, stuffed in a garbage bag near her mom's apartment. Mayor Sidney Bartholomew and other city leaders in New Orleans made good on their promise today to undergo their own drug tests. The mayor says he took the test to show he favors mandatory drug testing for city employees, especially those who use heavy equipment or dangerous instruments on their jobs. Louisiana's health care system was blasted in a recent report, but tonight Governor Romer says steps are underway to make improvements. The health care campaign issued a report saying Louisiana <coughs> has the nation's lowest life expectancy and the second highest levels of poverty and teenage pregnancy. At the same time, the report finds cutbacks in state health care services. Today, Governor Romer responded by saying much more could be done to make charity hospital system more cost effective. He wants to save money and improve care by hiring private companies to take over certain functions. There's new support tonight for the governor's tax reform plan. A group called New Orleans is Worth It endorsed the package. Members include two former New Orleans mayors, Moon Landrew and Dutch Morial. They say your vote April 29th for the plan will help make the city economy stronger. Trade schools in Louisiana may soon have to undergo tougher scrutiny in order to allow students into their classrooms. News 8's Ken Jones tells us about new legislation that would keep schools from promising too much and delivering too little. This is a promise made by many proprietary adult education schools nationwide, and for the most part, they deliver. When I do the mail merge program, What's the first step that I have to do? Alice Porcher attends Cameron Business College in New Orleans. She says she's confident that the school will deliver on its promises. The representatives were very helpful and everything. They were very clear about what you will receive as being a student here at Cameron College. And so that's, that helped me a lot in making my decision in coming here. But the reputation of such schools is under attack. It's prompted by schools that guarantee high-paying jobs upon graduation and by schools that close unexpectedly, like Jefferson Business College that left 275 students high and dry last November. I'm a B student for us academically, but being here, I borrowed money to get to school because I was determined, you understand? But this, this kind of thing here makes you really disgusted. Now, new legislation is planned to protect a student like that. It's twofold. 
higher licensing fees to fund the expansion of a state inspection staff, and a requirement that schools contribute to a fund for students in case a school suddenly closes. We want only reputable proprietary schools to exist because we do a great job and without us there are too many people in our society that would never have a chance to be successful. All of the parties involved agree it's the actions of a few bad apples that has tarnished the reputations of private schools providing adult education. And they also all agree if the reputation is not improved soon, not only will the service they provide suffer, but the people who depend on it. Ken Jones, News 8. Better Business Bureau spokesmen say students can best protect themselves by finding out the demand of their chosen profession and then checking the track record of the school they want to attend. Well, if you're one of those folks in New Orleans who works for minimum wage, you probably have your fingers crossed right now hoping for a federal increase in that wage. How might that increase affect lifestyles as well as Louisiana's economy? We'll soon find out. And plans are underway for the biggest meeting of national black leaders in 13 years. We'll tell you who's coming to town. I have a dramatic satellite movie loop of building thunderstorms in Texas. And we have some dramatic pictures of the Soviet women getting ready for the Crescent City Classic. These stories and much more when News 8 New Orleans continues. Here's to you, America. We share your sense of pride. Here's to you, America. Here's to the red, white, and blue. Come by and test drive a new Chrysler today at Bergeron Chrysler Plymouth. Thank you, and you have a nice day. To find out which store brand is better, you could try these proven tests, or you could simply try Ecker. That's because Eckerd brand products have already been tested for you and formulated to meet national brand standards. And if you're ever unhappy with an Eckerd brand product, we'll replace it with a national brand free, guaranteed. So to find out which store brand is better, you could try this or simply try this. Eckerd brand, tested, retested, guaranteed. This is Monica Pierre. These workers are hoping for a $1.20 an hour increase in the minimum wage, but some say it's too much. I'll have the story when News 8 New Orleans at 6 continues. Catch it. Spring's hottest plays are at Maison Blanche. All-star savings, major league looks from Jason Maxwell. Main sale, you babe shorts, tops too. Save on our entire stock of Monet, Napier, and Trafari. Steal home in PCH. MVP looks from Arrow, Hager. Watch the game on Panasonic. Feed the team, outdoors, plus register to win a gift certificate. Now through Sunday only, spring's hottest plays at Maison Blanche. It's a hit. After my accident, I was wondering what things I would be able to do, if any. And fishing was one of them. It meant a lot to me. Thanks to the people at Baptist Hospital, I'm able to do things like this again. It's one of the best feelings you can imagine. What's being called the biggest meeting of black leadership in America in 13 years is scheduled to take place next weekend in New Orleans. Today, some of the organizers announced the purpose of the African American Summit 89 will be to address the crisis facing black America, as well as to set new goals and strategies through the end of the century. Some of the summit participants, and there are lots of them, include Reverend Jesse Jackson, Mrs. Coretta Scott King, former uh, uh, militant leader Angela Davis, and also former Gary, Indiana Mayor Richard Hatcher. More pay may soon be in the pockets of thousands of Louisiana workers and the rest of the country. Congress and President Bush are trying to finalize a bill to increase the minimum wage. Tonight's News 8's Monica Pierre takes a look at what the increase would mean for Louisiana workers and their bosses. Workers who put in long hours for low pay are hoping the political confrontation over minimum wage will be resolved soon. Earlier this week, the Senate adopted a Democratic plan to boost the current wage from 335 to 455 an hour. Gwendolyn Park has been working for minimum pay for 24 years. I think that's great. It's real nice. 
it's much better. Everything else going up, the price of gas and clothes and food, everything else going up, so I think that would be fine. The increase would be phased in by 1991. But some people on Capitol Hill are worried about the larger wage increase. They fear it may actually hurt the people it was designed to help. They want a modest increase to 425. See, if we raise that minimum wage too much, then we make it more difficult to get jobs in Louisiana. And our big problem in Louisiana now is not so much the amount of wages, it's the amount of jobs. Others don't feel 30 cents more will chase away jobs, but... Certainly, I would say it's not going to create more jobs. Competition for jobs many people have passed over in the past could become fierce. Survival for Louisiana companies could come down to a balancing act. The employer is going to have to decide for himself if he can take his product and bring it to market and deliver it and make a profit, can he do that at the new minimum wage? So the debate over how much to pay boils down to 30 cents, precious pennies for people who haven't had a pay raise in eight years. Monica Pierre, News 8. A conference committee is trying to iron out differences over the minimum wage package. President Bush has said he will veto anything over $4.25 an hour. Well, all around town, except maybe in my block, runners are training hard for the Crescent City Classic. In sports, we'll see how some ladies from the Soviet Union are getting ready. Brunswell Boda has that and more when News 8 New Orleans at 6 continues. Don Bone Ford announces 2.9% financing. 2.9% financing on most cars and trucks in stock. 2.9% financing on the 89 Taurus. 2.9% on Escort and Tempo. 2.9% on the 89 Thunderbird. 2.9% financing on the 89 Ranger. And during this special sale, Don Bone Ford has the new 88 Festiva, only $117 a month. $117 a month for a new Festiva, only at Don Bone Ford in the West Bank. Family tradition of quality. Don Bone Ford. Hi, I wrote a book called What's Cooking. But when did she wrote the book on low prices? Take a look. Enjoy U.S. Choice Beef when you buy a whole untrimmed boneless sirloin tip for $1.79 a pound. Fryer leg quarters are just 39 cents a pound in a 10-pound bag. Two-liter Pepsi is priced low at 99 cents. And Harvest Fresh Thompson White Seedless Grapes are 79 cents a pound. Win Dixie, America's supermarket at your service. Right now, when you shop at Eckerd for one of these American Greetings cards, you could end up sending one of these greeting cards. Presenting the Eckerd American Greetings $50,000 Serve Up a Winner Sweepstakes, where you could win a one-week trip for two to Hawaii, or one of 1,400 other valuable prizes. So if you want to get to this aisle, come to this aisle. No purchase necessary. Contest ends April 23rd. Register at the card shop at Eckerd Drugs. Modern flooring goes calling. Hi, I'm Mark Levy. Recently, we installed two beautiful rooms of carpet for Mrs. Love, and she's really happy. I really do love it. See the newest J.P. Stevens carpet with Zeftron, featuring Scotchgard stain-release protection. Zeftron, wear guaranteed and quality tested. J.P. Stevens, always great value. For 36 years, we've been providing honest value and quality. Call us, and we'll come calling on you. Modern flooring, 3619 South Carrollton. Time for sports with Ron Swoboda and Roger Clemens up in Massachusetts is smiling. Now he's in real exclusive company. Tall cat. Yeah. yeah, on the Red Sox. And for a change, Warren, they weren't booing Roger Clemens in Boston today. He has taken some heat for blasting the fans, but against the Indians today, Roger was mostly dealing it out. Uh, right here, Roger uh, taking a look at Brooke Jacoby. Two strikes on him. Bang. Cold. High in the strike zone, called strike three, his thousandth career K. He joins Cy Young and Louis Tiant as only the third Red Sox pitcher ever to strike out that many people. And by God, they love him in Boston. Wade Boggs, who's not letting anything bother his stroke uh, with the bat, uh, scores uh, Rich Gedman from second base. And really, Boston won this one in a breeze today, uh, nine to one. Elsewhere in the American League, uh, Minnesota shut out by Detroit. A three zip, uh, and uh, in the National League, it looks like uh, my boys, the Mets, uh, weren't too thrilling in Pittsburgh today. As uh, yeah, don't you love him? Pete the Pirate uh, had plenty to celebrate today. Andy Van Slyke here is the hitter to center field. His position, Mookie Wilson, kicks this puppy around. <laughs> Get a nice pick. 
<laughs> anyway, uh, that scores Bobby Bonilla all the way from first base on that one. Gary Carter bangs this one to left central field. Van Slyke is the player here. Look at this. That's all you can make on that play, folks. He loves to play center field and acts like it. Incredible catch right there as Pittsburgh beats my boys a 4-2 to two today. Houston, L.A. are in extra innings uh, tied in that one. Now the UNO Privateers tonight play the rubber match of a three-game series on the lakefront against the Aztecs of San Diego State, and we should have highlights for you at 10 o'clock. Now, President George Bush was hanging out with some athletes again today after getting bushwhacked by the... Uh, <laughs> by the Naval Academy yesterday, the Soviet baseball team met President Bush today. No front runner, our boy George. But here for the Crescent City Classic set to go on Saturday, there are some Soviet athletes to deal with. And if they're not the favorites, they're right up there, as Jim Gallagher reports. The Soviet Olympians arrived in town Monday, led by gold medalist Olga Bondarenko, who got her first taste of a New Orleans hurricane. Her teammates, Natalia Ardyamova and Yelena Zupieva, got down to the business of training for the Crescent City Classic this morning. I love it here. Training is going good. I love this park, you know, the weather, and this is my second training in this park. My training is sort of in a changing period after Olympic Games. I'm running, shall we say, cross, cross country, shorter distances, but rather with, with a bigger speed. The ladies are very different. Natalia is the more outgoing of the two even if her English is just a little weak. <laughs> my husband is my coach. He's in charge? On the uh, Vami? Yes, it is. He's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Yelena Supieva, on the other hand, is serious. She attacked her morning workout in the park. This is her first visit to the U.S., but you wouldn't know it from her English. 15 April, I was running in competition. Um, I ran in 10 kilometers. I happy. Um, uh, I I very happy take part in this uh, very big competition. Whether it's the Olympics or the Crescent City Classic, the ladies from the Soviet Union speak the universal language. They know where that finish line is. Jim Gallagher, News 8 Sports, Audubon Park. Sweater, a sweater. Anyway, there are some <laughs> world-class wheelchair athletes in town in New Orleans for the Classic, and tomorrow at 6 o'clock and 10 o'clock, we'll talk with, among them, the current 10K world, world record holder. I think Jim Gallagher thinks he's Bill Cosby or something. <laughs> well, even though it was mostly cloudy today, there wasn't any rain. But all that might just change, believe it or not, again tomorrow. Bob Breck's going to tell you all about it when News 8 New Orleans at 6 continues. Runs now through Saturday the 15th at your Goodyear Auto Service Centers or at Holmes Car Care Centers. Now through Saturday the 15th at your Goodyear Auto Service Centers or at Holmes Car Care Centers. It's not hard to believe that Del Champs meats taste the best. It's not hard to believe that Del Champs produce is the freshest. What's so hard to believe is you get it all at Del Champs low discount prices. Del Champs. Weeds, no problem. A shot of Roundup kills weeds and grasses. Roots and all. In driveway cracks, on patios, along fences. Make weeding easy. With Roundup, nothing kills weeds better. Enter the Weekend Freedom Sweepstakes. Get details on how to win where you buy Roundup. Don't spend more for the hits you want. Walmart's got them for less. From Jody Watley, Larger Than Life. Real love, I know I wanna have. From Anna Motion, Anna Motion. everybody needs. And the soundtrack from Rain Man. Jody Watley, Animotion, and the soundtrack from Rain Man. Walmart, always a low price in the brands you trust. Always. 
Bob's in with the weather. Thought it was supposed to rain today. Not that I'm complaining, but... It did. It did. In Texas. I knew it would be somewhere else. We'll show you <laughs> why. I mean, that. it's, yes, we, we, here's a problem this afternoon. Last night we were watching, and still are, an upper air disturbance that actually we thought it was up here, but it's really down here, as you'll see in a minute. Out ahead of it, it's pulling up a lot of gulf moisture and a lot of thunderstorms, but it was moving into a very dry air mass at the surface over this part of the country, and the thunderstorms just fizzled as they reached us. Now, we can show you all that in motion. These are the storms last night. They just blossomed up and as they reached us they fizzled look at that they're gone they're off the map and it really is kind of dramatic to watch how they fade now if you focus back down at south here here is this upper low it's kind of ill-defined but you can see how the moisture is just coming up out of old mexico and look at the big thunderstorms that are firing off in texas today and you can see how last night's thunderstorms faded and the new ones have formed now tonight now, our thinking is as this gets closer to us, these thunderstorms will continue to push towards us, and they won't fade as the ones uh, last night did. So I think tomorrow we stand a good chance of rain late in the day. Now, where it's raining under these thunder showers in Texas, it's very, very chilly in the 40s and 50s. You get out away from the rain, and it warms up. For instance, it's up to 71 at Omaha, almost near 80 down at Brownsville. So either side of the system, it's not bad at all. Now, as this front comes down from the north over the weekend, that's my thinking that we'll finally get some drier air in here. Tomorrow, though, the system will be approaching, so we'll have lots of clouds and some showers and thunderstorms by late in the day. On, uh, say, early Saturday, you might have a shower. Then this front ought to get here late in the day with more showers, and Sunday looks like the best day of the weekend. Now, last night at 10 o'clock, we had these big thunder boomers down in the Gulf, and the ones coming at us from the west, they just fizzled during the day. And we cleared this afternoon and turned out into bright sunshine. Back in Texas, though, new storms are firing off. And again, as they move across Texas, they kind of get into Louisiana, and you can see how they shrink, shrink up under that dry air. Now, we have a little different perspective here. This is a three-dimensional satellite movie loop that you'll watch the thunderstorms bubble up here, and then as they move over us, they faded, and look how we cleared during the day. The new storms back in Texas, this perspective allows you to watch the thunderstorms. Look at how they pop up in the Whoa. atmosphere. These are the ones, yeah, old Ron likes to see that happen. These are big thunderstorms back in Texas with some very heavy rains, and it gives us an idea, especially as th summertime thunderstorms arrive, we'll be able to see how these grow in that uh, third dimension. You know, weather is not two planes, it's a three-dimensional, and this will allow us to do that. Today's highs or lows this morning started in the 50s, uh, generally low to mid-50s north, upper 50s south, and during the day with plenty of sun. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be here, but we soared up into the mid-70s. Uh, mid this afternoon. Been a long time since we've been in the mid-80s, and I think we're going to start seeing warmer temperatures, especially after the weekend. Tonight we're at 68 degrees. Humidity is still dry at the surface. East winds at 10 and a rising barometer at 3012. Tonight we're partly cloudy, but we will become cloudy during the night. A slim shower risk late tonight, but the chance is very slim. Lows in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Now tomorrow, I think we won't see much sun. Few showers, mainly in the afternoon. Chances will increase during the day. Highs low to mid-70s. So not a whole lot different than today initially, but I think late in the day it'll get kind of ugly. Now on Saturday, maybe a shower for the Crescent City Classic breakout in the sun, a thunderstorm late in the day, a weak cold front on Sunday, and then look at Monday and Tuesday. Real nice weather and maybe some 80s coming back. We haven't seen the 80 degree temperatures in quite a while. East winds tomorrow, again on the breezy side at 12 to 20 knots. Watch it if you're going out in the Gulf. And this Sunday, this Salmon Family Fun Day on the North Shore. Yeah, they're going to have a fun run at 8.30 a.m. If you're a runner, you can be running up there if you don't want to jog in the Crescent City class. Thanks, Bob. All right, Bob. Some junior high school students in our area have been raising quite a stink lately over a really stinky smell. We'll explain when News Aid New Orleans at 6 continues. Yes, Bone Ford gives you more value. Get the number one selling car in the world, the Escort, with free air, only $79.95, or 2.9%, plus automatic stereo and more, only $79.95. Yes, you do get better deals. Or get the number one selling compact truck in America, the Ranger, with free air. It's only $83.97, or 2.9%, with stereo, cassette, overdrive, and more, only $83.97. For better deals, buckle up and come to Bone Ford. Bone Ford. 
Do you know why K&B personally makes our own ice cream? So we can make it just the way you like it. With more dairy cream to make it richer and smoother. With more fresh natural ingredients to make it taste delicious. And in 30 different flavors so we can please everybody. Oh, there's one more reason why K&B makes our own ice cream. So you can buy it at a price as low as this. Just $1.39 a half gallon any flavor right now at your nearby K&B drugstore. When it comes to making ice cream, we're personally yours. You mean all I got to do is get all these hot dogs to 140 times safer stores by tomorrow evening at 6 p.m.? That's right. You ain't gonna make it, Daddy. <laughs> We're talking some easy money here, Fred. <laughs> Hang on to your bacon bits, son. <laughs> Boo! Junior, we is in hot pursuit of the time saver. Good, Daddy. We can get another 32 squeeze Coca-Cola. Calling all cars. This is Sheriff Justice T. Bogart in hot pursuit of the time saver. <laughs> Rug and Carpet Center has great news for you. Free of charge, we'll come to your home with valuable information about floor and carpet care. Rug and Carpet Center is proud to introduce Capture. Endorsed by the three major fiber manufacturers, Capture's four easy steps will refresh and bring new life to your carpet. At no risk to your warranty, Capture will recapture the beauty of your carpet investment. Call today for your in-home floor care analysis. And it's free from Rug and Carpet Center. Well, finally, we probably all know how a school gymnasium is supposed to smell, right? A little musty, to say the least. Well, the students at a junior high in Mississippi say the stinky smell in their gym goes way beyond musty. In fact, they held a protest over <laughs> it because they say they just can't take it anymore. Here's the problem. The clay foundation beneath the school is shifting, squeezing some of the sewer pipes and forcing, <laughs> unfortunately, very nasty odors to back up inside the building. <laughs> One ninth grader on the picket line says, quote, when you sniff, nothing but gnats fly up your nose. <laughs> School administrators say they're working on the problem. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it for News 8 New Orleans at 6 o'clock. Thanks for watching. I'm Warren Bell. And I'm Margaret Dubasson. Until 10, y'all have a good evening. Bye-bye.